What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to add any blockchain network to MetaMask that is supported by MetaMask. So basically, if it's a fork of Ethereum, then most likely it's going to be supported by MetaMask. First thing we have to make sure we have MetaMask installed on our computer or extension in our browser. And if you don't have one installed, just go to this website, metamask.io and click on download now. And then it's going to give you an option. And you just basically gonna install the extension to your browser. And if you don't know how to do that, or if you need step-by-step -step video, I already made one and I'm gonna leave it in the description below. This video, basically I'm showing how to view private keys. And at the beginning of the video, I show you how to install MetaMask step-by-step. -step. So once you got that done, next thing we need to do, we need to go to this website, chainlist.org. Right here, we need to press on connect wallet. And since I already connected before, we didn't see any pop-up, but most likely, you'll see a pop up here from MetaMask. It's going to ask you to confirm. And then in my case, I can just press on dismiss, but it's going to ask you to confirm connection to this chain list website. So then you can scroll down and you can find some kind of network that you would like to add. For example, in my case, it's Ubik. And then you can press on add to MetaMask. And then it's going to pre-fill all the information and it is going to add. And in this case, you can just press on switch networks and that's it. And in MetaMask, if you open up your MetaMask, it's going to be Ubik. And by default, Ubik coin is going to be as a default coin. Then same thing, scroll down, find your network, the one you're looking for. For example, Flare mainnet is here, but I'm not sure if it's actually going to work yet. At this time, there is an error. So we're going to have to wait actually when the Flare main network is going to be launching because I think at the time of I'm creating this video, let's see if Sunbird Canary network is going to be added. If we press on it, same thing, some kind of error. And then we can scroll down more and you can keep on scrolling and find any network that you would like to add to your MetaMask wallet. Not every single one of them is actually going to work because I tried a couple of them and it did not. Let's see KCC mainnet if this one's going to work. And if it's going to work, then you'll see this pop up and then you'll scroll down and then you're going to give it approve. You'll have to press on approve and then you can switch network and then open up again and you will see KCC mainnet is added and KCS tokens is already here by default. And then Theta. Let's see if we can add Theta mainnet. See, with this website, you don't have to have any network, URLs, chain IDs, or any kind of information. It's just going to fill in for you automatically. You just have to press approve and then switch network and then go back again. Open up and you'll see Theta Network and then T Fuel default token. And then you can just scroll down and find they have so many different chains. Like I said before, not probably all of them is going to work, but let's see Clover mainnet if that one's going to work. By some reason, this one is not working. You'll just have to add Clover manually to your MetaMask. And this is pretty much it. With this chainless website, you can add almost any network that's supported by MetaMask automatically. And this is pretty much it. If this video is helpful to you, press that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.